Welcome back, baseball fans. We are eliminating the Oakland A's, loser of the American League Championship Series. Shed no tears, Oakland fans. The dynasty hasn't even started yet. It's still the end of 1971. Um, they won the World Series two years ago with a kind of a lousy team. Five of the guys who play in the 72-3-4 dynasty are arguably better now uh, than they were than the dynasty, which is Reggie Jackson, Sal Bando, Burt Campanaris, Vita Blue, Gene Tennis, and possibly even Joe Rudy. All were better in 69, 70, and 71, so that's something to be a little disconcerting to the rest of the American League. What you're looking at here you see some crazy names. You were looking at the 1982, 83, 84, 69 world champion Oakland A's of two seasons ago. And you're thinking, well, who'd they get? They must have gotten some great guys from 69 because the A's in the 80s were lousy. They had Blue Moon Odom, 8-7 and and in 121 innings, and Sal Bando. Who hit 300 with 11 homers and 39 RBIs. So that, that was good. If you look at the net runs of this world championship team, they scored 289 and they gave up 251. Yet they were 15 over 500. They were a surprise wild card team. I did a very long video of this in the my Golden Age of Strat playlist if you want to check it out in more detail. But I thought I would put the um, players up here so you can see a three-year trend for the Oakland A's. Uh, obviously, Rich Dower is gone. Uh, Ricky Henderson goes on, as does Bando, as does Heath. Templeton's gone. Thornton's gone. Reggie continues. Phillips, Cromartie, Foley, Burroughs, gone. And <clears throat> something I don't want to mention, but I, I need to, is that Dwayne Murphy uh, was last on the team in hitting at 204. That will come up again in this discussion. Raleigh Fingers is there. Um, and there, again, is Blue Moon Odom and Mark Langston. These two World Series pitchers were traded to Las Vegas, plus some draft tokens, which the Vegas could use to uh, acquire free agents to replace players on their team that they don't like. Those guys were traded so that Oakland had the rights to get Vita Blue with a first overall pick. And it seemed like a lot to give up if you look at these stats, but Vita Blue did the deal and was worth the transaction, as we'll see in a couple slides. Next slide we're going to go to is, la is the in-between. What happened in-between? And they had a lousy year. Um, did Oakland. They had a crappy year. Um, it was, well, you know, 18 and 19. I guess it's not too crappy, but um, Rudy's card was added. Delaney, well, he was a free agent. Scott Thompson, first of two years. Templeton's final year. Bando had a kind of an off year. Dwayne Murphy was good here at 240. Tennis disappointed. Look at Reggie Jackson at 220. And Henderson, Ricky Henderson, how can you hit 205? But he did. Tony Phillips, Manny Trio, yeah. Not a lot going on in this in-between year. Catfish Hunter, 1-5. But Blue Moon Odom and Mark Langston are still pitching well. And that's why two solid years of those two guys, and he still gets traded. So this is what happened in between winning a World Series with a lousy team and then not going to the World Series with an outstanding team. Let's take a look at 2020. And here is what just happened. And you watched a lot of this, folks. The 29-19 A's, they scored 269 runs, only gave up 190. That's outstanding. And because of that, if you look at Raleigh Finger's save total, it's just five saves because they didn't need them. They weren't in a lot of save situations. They were comfortably ahead. Raleigh Fingers took his uh, 19 and a third innings and his 19 to 1 strikeout to walk ratio 
and sat idly away in the bullpen most of the time. There's Vita Blue with a 13 and 4 record and the 106 whip. Uh, and a little harbinger of doom in game five against the Orioles is Bob Locker was outstanding all year with a buck 40 ERA, and then he was pulled out in the most pivotal moment of their season for Gary Lavelle, who was an outstanding reliever for the Giants. The Giants uh, uh, put him on waivers, A's picked him up, and it didn't work out for Oakland, unfortunately, even though Lavelle's an outstanding pitcher. It just didn't work out. And now, if you look at the hitting, let's start at the top. Reggie, his biggest year, he was quiet in the league championship series, but he, for the year, he had 347, 11, and 33. Ricky Henderson got his 25 stolen bases, and Campanaris got 19 of his. Um, you got to go to the very bottom row here. And there's Dwayne Murphy again. And he hit 166. Man, you got to go out of your... You gotta really swerve out of your lane to hit 166 in Stratomatic in 181 at bats with 11 homers and 31 RBIs. He had some big hits in the Ranger series in a clinching game that I broadcast. But don't do not sweat or shed any tears for the Oakland A's, the bad boys of baseball. Let's take a look at their stack and see how the dynasty <laughs> will commence. So they didn't get a World Series invitation this year, but I don't think that's going to last very long. Uh, Dick Green really came up big in the LCS. Bad Bosley will leave. He was just a platoon guy. We have Mike Heath played all three years there, and he'll wrap up his career as a platoon catcher. Scott Thompson had two years with the A's. Did all right. Just kind of a singles hitter, a first baseman. Ricky Anderson at 292 this year, and he hit 293 in Stratomatic. How about that? Pretty darn, pretty darn close. So Ricky Henderson got one World Series ring uh, for Oakland, um, but not um, with the Dynasty players. John Donaldson will come back, Campanaris. And again, this is the Campanaris with the 22 home runs. So that's why, you know, the A's aren't really going to, aren't sweating a whole lot here. Reggie Jackson... Gene, this is not just not fair. You, I mean, and the thing about it not being fair is it's just a rookie card with 105 at bats. So they're going to keep this card for four years, and it's going to hurt the rest of the American League. Here's a guy with one World Series ring. He didn't get another one. He has one more chance to get another ring with this card before we move uh, into the 70s with Bando. So he'll still have between four and eight games, four and eight years playing for the Oakland A's. <sighs> Dwayne Murphy. Oh, man. Sorry, buddy. Great fielder. I mean, I like the guy. I always liked Dwayne Murphy um, when I watched the A's growing up. Joe Rudy, another guy. Oh, man. Should almost not... 350 at-bats. This is before he can even field. We know Joe Rudy's a gold glove caliber outfielder, but not in 1970, was he? But we'll trade that for the stick here. Bob Locker pulled him out of the sixth inning of the league championship series, and it cost the A's. Hey, Raleigh Fingers, don't worry about it. He's going to be coming back. The 84 Fingers, He also. this is the Milwaukee one. Again, I think in 81, I think he won the Cy Young with Milwaukee. But uh, he'll go directly. Oakland will protect him, and he'll go directly back into the bullpen. Torres is the player... Um, that Las Vegas sent to Oakland in the Vita Blue trade. And he pitched game five, and he got knocked out by the third inning. So, ouch. Yeah. Catfish Hunter, just getting started there. Kurt Young. Kurt Big Game Young. Actually, I think he was a free agent for two years. Nobody really wanted him. Then Oakland... I added him to the roster this year. He'll leave. There's Vita Blue. He's just getting started for a long, long run. Gary Lavelle is a good pitcher. It's just it didn't work out in that last game. Jim Nash is really a, more of a starter than reliever. They they needed bullpen help. The problem is the home runs. Not something you feel you feel really confident with. 
in coming out of your bullpen. So let's look at the eight guys here and see if any of them come back. I don't think Gary Lavelle quite gets started in 1972, nor does Kurt Young, of course. Yes, Raleigh Fingers. Fingers will be added, and it's a question of picking a year between 1969 and 1972, whichever is his best year, and using that card. Dwayne Murphy will leave. Ricky Henderson. Bye-bye. We'll see you in a different era. Scott Thompson, I think he's gone. Mike Heath is gone. Bosley, okay. So this is your Oakland A's dynasty. This is how you build how you how do you build a dynasty? Let's find out. So Gene Tennis is your catcher. Joe Rudy for the moment can be your first baseman. By the way, Tennis does not play first base yet, which is something that he did for Oakland. They were very flexible between Tennis, Rudy, and, and the outfield. But at this point, if Tennis has to catch. Rudy uh, could play first or left. He could move into left field where Henderson vacated. Not good defense. Not a concern, though. Dick Green at second. Bando at third. Campanaris at short. Reggie in the outfield. John Donaldson, just the... Uh, Middleman to back up in case of injuries. So you need pretty much a center fielder and maybe a first baseman. Not really concerned about it. Not really concerned about it at all. Pitching staff. Blue Hunter. Maybe it's time to put Nash in the rotation at the back of it. Because he did start for the A's in 69 with a 360, 360 ADRA. And give Torres one more crack at it. So, Blue Hunter, Torres Nash. You only have one lefty. Lockers already gets lefties out. So you could grab two more lefties in the bullpen. There's a little bit of work to get done. Maybe you unload Mike Torres, who actually pitched for the Cardinals. You know, maybe you improve this pitching, this pitcher. Because it seems like the Orioles, the Reds, the Giants, the other three teams uh, in the Final Four all had good one, two, and three pitchers. The A's have two good guys, and then it gets kind of fishy here. So, with that, let's see what, how the A's build their dynasty. Okay, the Oakland A's, 72, world champions. Interestingly, um, they were actually eight games worse in the regular season in 72 than in 71. 71, they were better, but they lost the LCS to the Orioles. Sound familiar? Three games to zero when it was only a five-game series. And I just played a seven-game series, and it was four to one. So that's eerily similar, losing uh, a net of three in the LCS. I um, also want to keep track of attendance as I do this for fun, my own interest. Fifth in the American League attendance under a million fans. Dick Williams and Charlie Finley. We know all this stuff, though. Uh, and let's take a peek at your 72 Oakland A's. Joe Rudy, already have him. Catfish Hunter, Reggie Jackson, Sal Bando, Burt Campanaris. Mike Epstein, property of the Texas Rangers. And my goodness, Texas, they have to hold on to him. <laughs> we have seen an elimination video for the Rangers, and it is not pretty. They have to hold on to Epstein as long as possible. Ken Holtzman is not on Oakland, and... Uh, he was part of a deal that moved pieces around in a previous season that ended up where Steve Carlton, Mark Langston, John Tudor, and Ken Holtzman, they all did a merry-go-round and got situated. And then re uh, the rationale is, is that um, the A's were so strong they didn't need Ken Holtzman. And Blue would satisfy the left-hander in the starting rotation portion. So Holtzman was given up. Ultimately, the A's ended up with Mark Langston and a World Series ring. So, it worked out. 
So interestingly, Ken Holtzman will not pursue a World Series career um, with the A's unless the Cardinals want to move him. I don't think the Cardinals want to move Holtzman because the Cardinals are already kind of disappointed not to have Steve Carlton pitch for them at all. As Steve Carlton will pitch his entire year in the Carrier League all with Philadelphia. All, as long as he's a pitcher, the whole series in the carry of league will be with the Phillies. And that's how that story is told. Dave Duncan, future pitching coach, catcher. Daryl Knowles is with Texas. Blue Moon. Blue Moon got traded. There's Rally Fingers. We know we're going to add him. It's a question of which year. Angel Manguel, maybe. Let's take a look and see from a World Series team if who I'm going to add. And this could be tricky. Because, like I said, we already have the dynasty in place in a lot of areas. And a lot of these guys actually have already had career years. Which is even more interesting. Um, Matty Alou is property of the Pirates currently. Make a deal. Get Matty. He can still play center field with the Pirate card. I'd make a deal. Get Matty Alou out of Pittsburgh and bring him to Oakland. That would be a pretty clever thing to do. Um, let's move down to the pitchers. Dave Hamilton. Remember I talked about a lefty because we were losing Ken Holtzman? Well, what's wrong with Dave Hamilton? Repl have him play replace Holtzman. Um, he's a relief starter. He's pretty good. There's Fingers. 11-9, the 251 ERA, and a buck oh five whip. I think he's the closer. I think he he goes from being a Hall of Fame closer to being a... Hall of Fame closer. He just picks up where he left off. And let's go back now. We're going to go back. That was the only World Series team we're going to see in this video. Because we're going back in the time, not forwards. But this Oakland team may have been better. Again, Dick Williams, Charlie Finley. They're seventh in attendance. Under a million fans. Blue Moon. 8.5 War. Bando, Reggie, Catfish, Bert Campanaris, Rick Monday is on the Colorado Rockies. They aren't giving him up. There's Rudy, Tennis, Dave Duncan again. We need a backup catcher. We might just get Duncan to do that. We have Dick Green. How about Tommy Davis? No, you can't get Tommy Davis. He's property of Las Vegas as well. And Las Vegas is an expansion team, and they need all the help they can get. So from here, Angel Mengual could be brought up to play in the outfield. Um, very young George Hendrick isn't quite good enough yet. And as far as pitchers go, you know, it's this is a, Oakland is kind of suffering the same fate the Orioles suffered when they got great players, but they were taken, stolen from them. By other teams. Their roster was raided. Uh, uh, Daryl Knowles in Texas. Jim Rowland was taken by an expansion team. Uh, Diego Segui taken by the Seattle Mariners. Klimkowski by Toronto. Chuck Dobson by Arizona. So, makes sense, doesn't it? They're a World Series team. Might as well take their players. Uh, shed no tears for Oakland, though. They will be fine. Uh, 1970. We'll go through the roll call. Bando, Campy, Mudcat Grant, another star. He's with the Ohio players. Rick Monday with Colorado. Sagi with Seattle. Reggie, Rudy, Philippe Alou. There's a player. We can get the Alous. <laughs> we can get Matty Alou and Philippe Alou. And Angel Mingual. So there are plenty of outfielders to go for. Don Mincher. Uh, you know who would trade him? The Milwaukee Brewers. They possess Mincher. He's a lefty, kind of a pull-hitting first baseman. I could see Mincher going to the Oakland A's uh, and take the Mike Epstein role, since they're not going to get Epstein. And Milwaukee would love to make a trade. Milwaukee is um, terrible, and they need to Trade, get trade for as many assets as possible. Frank Fernandez, great player. Uh, he's on Toronto. 
so from all of that, yeah, get Mincher. You got your choice of Mengual and the Alus in the outfield. Nothing really else to worry about. Just, again, we need some pitchers. If, if, uh, Lindblad. Texas Rangers took him. Marcel Latchman. Seattle took him. I can't grant. Yeah. Wow. It could be... It, this could be challenging for the A's to um, fill the three spots in their... Uh, in their on their pitching they have got five spots down they need three more and that could be tricky 1969 reggie bando dick green blue moon rick monday campanaris hunter tommy reynolds roland jose tartable jose tartable at 267 666 ops tommy reynolds 257 not seen it Danny Cater, but I think Danny Cater is going to be part of an Yankee Oakland, excuse me, Yankee Red Sox trade. Uh, the Yankees will possess Cater and send him to the Red Sox for Sparky Lyle, which is something the Red Sox should never have done, but they did do that. And then, of course, Sparky Lyle wins the 1976 or 77 Cy Young Award. I can't remember. Um. Pitching. Oh, well, here's well, Luke Krauss is available for. Well, there's a reason he's available. He's got a 4.44 year A. And yeah, so we're gonna need some free agent pitchers to go to Oakland, and they seem to have in-house outfield options. And that's gonna be how they build their dynasty. Interestingly enough, they may struggle because they're going to lose Ricky Henderson. So, Ricky Henderson, you know, Raleigh Fingers is coming back, but Ricky Henderson, that's that's a big deal. Um, you know, Matty Alou, Philippe Alou, Angel Mangual, Jose Tartable, they're good, but none of those guys is Ricky Henderson. So, um, the A's will be in a very weak division with a weak Texas team that's going to be declining, the Angels and the Seattle Mariners. So, They'll probably win the divisions the next three years, and then depending on which free agents they sign, they sign is whether or not we will see Oakland win the next three World Series starting next year. And that's been the review of the Oakland A's. Hope you've enjoyed this and all the other videos, and we'll see you again next time.